What's up, man? It's your friend neighborhood and on to you. Welcome back to another Armory Reaction. Today we're gonna be doing ReZero Season 2, Episode 49, Choose Me. I'm gonna say Subaru did that one. Cause, you know, y'all see the salmon on my body. You see, I'm wearing it in remembrance of our dinner part around, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying that like I got a confirmation. When I mean, you know, Ross Wall, he confirmed it last week. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> coming off the high, that was last week's episode, the greatest episode of ReZero, the greatest episode in anime history. I mean, it's all subjective, but at the end of the day, if you don't, if you don't agree. You're wrong. You know? <laughs> anyway, we're coming off the high that was last week's episode. I'm, a, I'm fully expecting this episode to be all about dialogue and stuff like that. Really trying to tug at my heart. Very emotional. You know, I'm not really an emotional cat, but you know, ReZero. ReZero definitely be chipping at my armor, bro. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, it doesn't happen here because I'm not trying to cry on camera. But you know, I wouldn't be surprised. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. Goddamn snow, bro. The, bro, the, the neighbors are done. They're gone. Oh, let me shut up. They're alive. How? How? How y'all didn't get ate up yet? The hell is that ice structure right there? Why y'all look surprised? But how would it be her and, and she in the she doing the trial? And that spirit says we wanted to think. Bro, Puck! At some point Puck did this. So so okay, this must be this must be right after the battle with Ram then. Because he wouldn't have had time to do this. If he was fighting Roswell, okay, okay. This nigga Puck just did a super move, bro. A whole tree of life to end Roswell's noggin. He's just done. But look, at, look at Amelia taking charge, B. I love her. I love her so much. I think it's amazing how the neighbors did a whole 180, bro. I love that. God damn it, he did confirm it. Jeez. You are so dumb. I can't believe it. I feel terrible for wearing the shirt now. No, nigga, why did you? Why did you just shoot a whole fireball jutsu at her ass? Unnecessary. Over a damn book. Got a heavy ink on his face here. Wait, okay, so the snow is just not falling here. All right, so okay, so this is right before Amelia finished the trial. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. A little ping pong action, a little back and forth. As far as I know, there's no human alive as skill as you. But at the end of the day, you are human, bro. So get this whole shit up with a kid now. She's not coming back. You never be like that devil. Does, does Puck know a killer? Did I miss that? But look at his eye twitching, and it's only the gold one. Why is that? Whose eye is that, bro? Because his original eyes was like blue. So who? I was talking about my armor being chipped away, bro. Roswell's armor is getting chipped away. What's, what are you doing? This nigga about to heal her. He's about to heal. Bro, I feel like she's too far gone, bro. What's your level? What's your level of skill? The voice acting, bro. <laughs> bro, they're breaking his voice. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. But yo, the voice acting in this show is so superb, be so superb. My man was breaking down. I was low key getting ready to break down. Forget his armor being chipped away, bro. It's completely gone. Bro, Miller, you gotta hurry up, bro. Oh, what's happening? You gotta hurry up before the rabbits get there, B. And why we going back here with the Ryuzus? Oh, the Ryuzus! What y'all doing? Yo, imagine you playing a horror game and you just run into an ass of these little clones just sitting there waiting for you at the end of the tunnel, bro. That's why I don't do it. Who's this? Why she look so tall compared to everybody else? Is it is it just perspective? Is she standing on something? Please, for now, just stop me. I mean, them two clones are, they look like they're doing a good enough job. Bro, is this a Kinda talking? She just, she just, she just took a Kinda's voice, bro. That wasn't Shima's voice. Run it back. That whoosh of air. That's a kid that talking. That's a kid that talking just now. Also, what happens here? Like, if you break that crystal, do they all just fizzle out and disappear? Like, how's, how's that gonna work? Okay, Puck's inside that jewel, so completely done with the fight now. Roswell's by himself. Got it. He made that wall of ice to protect everyone. All right, yeah, so this is after the fight of, uh, after the, the realm fight. Like, if you don't pay attention, you can get lost in the pacing. It's a lot of ping pong, a lot of back and forth. My sister's made from half of me. But she's talking like she's the actual Ryuzu, but I guess at the end of the day, she is. I don't want to know what's going on in her psyche right now. Like, why do you want to stop it? Is that just because that's your role that's engraved in you? Because she said she understood. You have grown a shocking amount in only half a day, right? Oh my God, bro. Ever since they unlocked her personality, bro, Amelia became a whole different character, bro. She's much more fun. She's much more animated. I love that. I love that, bro, because she was kind of dead in the first season. I'm not going to lie. I hated her in the first season. What, what did she say? Was I just a spell to break it? Did she say like a final goodbye message? What happened? I hate, I hate when shows do that, bro. I'm, I'm too nosy, bro. Don't, 
Oh, that was that was anticlimactic. And I go shadow the crystal now. Like when Putt took his L, they they three peated that bitch. <laughs> you can't even bust it twice. Oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't be making jokes. She crying and whatnot. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Please tell me what Ram. Right, you don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. Roswell's done. He's a shell of his former self. Ram's done. They still there, bro. Y'all gonna freeze to death. Oh, that shit is fire, bro. Ice Man in the cut. What's Ice Man? That Marvel? DC? Marvel. It's Marvel. Bro, look at his eyes, B. Them shits is lifeless. Oh my god. Mm. But Japanese really don't pronounce their odds. I just learned it. Oh, she's alive, B. She's a lemma. She's alive. Word. Word. I don't feel bad about wearing the shirt no more. Cool. Yo, I wonder if he's actually like healing her here or he's just taking it from his life force and giving it to her. Cause my man's look dead right now. Bro, your lips chapped like hell. I got you. Don't worry about it. Bro, talk your shit, Amelia. Talk your shit. Hey, don't bite your lips like that, B. They already trapped. You gonna bleed. I saw it and I still made up my mind to walk this path, B. If I ain't giving up, your bitch ass can't give up. I'm in it. I'm in it. <laughs> bro, she just grabbed this shit, bro. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> bro, that, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> she, she said, hey, when you talking to somebody, you supposed to look them in their face. Roswell, like, bitch, I wasn't even talking to you. <laughs> Like, I'm not talking to you, bro. You talking to me. It's a difference. Bro, who she shooting at? The bodies, bro. Oh, Amelia got spider senses, B. She got the spidey sense. I got a question. I'm going to pause in a second, though, but not right now. Look, look at him. Just mad. Where the carrots at, nigga? You know? <laughs> like, that's how they squad it up, bro. Oh, they stampeding, bro. Lion King. Like, you're going to freeze the whole ground. Oh, okay. She just made a path. You didn't make that higher. What happened to, what happened to Bilma? Is she, is she not there? Okay, I got to pause. That was an amazing first half of the episode. I fuck with it heavy. Uh, she said that, Amelia said that she was a witch, right? As far as I know, all the witches, they dipped out 400 years ago. Amelia, you know, she's not 400 years old. She's been stuck in ice for, for 100 years. So like, so like, how, how is she, how is she a witch? Who, who did she get her factor from? That's, I, I may be missing things here because you know, you know I'm slow. But you know, how, how, how did that come about? Why aren't there younger witches? Like around Amelia's age. What's going on? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I may get some flack here, but I'm kind of tired of Patrice's uh, storyline right now because, like, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of her just going in these fields, bro. Feeling sad for herself. She was, she be so sometimes. I was, it's was just like, bro, just get your ass out the library, man. Like, stop putting me through this. Oh, I gotta pause right here. I'm so sorry for pausing after I just paused the last time. But this, this scene in particular, I wanted to pause and highlight here because I have a theory, right? Last week's episode, when Amelia couldn't uh, recognize Echidna in her grave, I was wondering why that is. I didn't really see anybody talk about it. So I'm here to think about it, right? I'm here to talk about it. The reason why I don't think uh, Amelia, the reason why I think Amelia didn't recognize Echidna in her grave is because there's two Echidnas, right? Not an old sister twin sister thing, but like this is the Echidna from 400 years ago, and then there's the Castle of Dreams Echidna, right? And there's the Echidna from 400 years ago. I'm thinking something is off with her face, right? Because if we look here, and all of these flashbacks, they never show her face, bro. But we see the Castle of Dreams version clear as day, right? So why is that? Something got to be going on with her face. I'm thinking she got the bushy eyelashes just like Pandora, so maybe her eyes are blue. Maybe there's a coral between those two I don't know or like a kid's face is just mad old right just completely old she's like 40 50 70s 80 who knows right like she just she just pushing it on the age and that's why Amelia didn't recognize her because she just had like an old face because the Castle of Dream version does refer to herself as a young maiden so you know that might be the case or maybe Amelia just didn't recognize her because you know once you leave the trials you know you, you forget everything all the interactions you have with a um, with a kingdom because that's what happened to Subes that's where it all started that damn book Subes need to burn that shit like Ram did because right now that book is just a curse bro they looking at it for guidance but that shit is nothing but a curse and a crutch for them to hold on replicating a soul that's where it started we rarely spoke to each other at all that's so sad considering how close they were too pleased to meet you why are you saying that like you oh this is where it started this is where it started there's the current roswell roswell b mathers <laughs> peter b okay so that gold eye is just like what stores his soul in a new body in a new vessel got it you've been stuck there for 400 years b hanging on to that damn book sadness when i was unsuccessfully reunited with the one i admired as a big brother what? My brother and I weren't the same. Driven by envy and jealousy, I killed my emotions and stopped talking so I wouldn't hurt the half half devil girl. Wait, wait, pause, pause. Puck is her older brother. So that means that means a kidna a kidna created Puck. 
Is this is this known? Like this is a revelation to me, bro. I don't remember this in the first season. So Echidna, Echidna created Puck. Why would she do that though? Because Puck is made for Amelia. So like, why would Echidna, why would Echidna help Amelia out? Like she doesn't have any reason to, unless she owed a favor to the father or something like that. In which case, why would she owe a favor to the father unless? Nah, they're not going down to Echidna as the mom, bro. Nah, that's. <laughs> MBC number one found. I'm so tired. Bro, she leaned for, but she put her head down. Bro, please, I'm tired of this story, bro. Just get her out of there, please. Oh my god, bro, you're not supposed to touch the doorknobs when they're hot. Okay, their fight's over. Amazing fight, by the way, Garfield. Movie levels. Auto and Petra made it out. Let's go. All we gotta do is deal with her stubborn ass. Come on, Patrice. Come on, Biko. No, don't do that, though. Oh, your back is on fire, bro. She's a charge and shit. That was fire. Mm, put her in her place, soups. Let her know, bro. She's bullshitting right now. Cut that out. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I know this is a sad moment, but her voice is just so cute, bro. It's so small and little. It just makes me sad, man. Even knowing it was a lie, I knew I had to believe you. God, bro, you just went so badly out of the library. Just leave all this shit is on fire. Because I'm a fool. Who you fool who can't forget a 400-year-old power? Hey, you did call her dumb, bro. That shit hurt, bro. That's going to stick with her for a minute. Already zooming in his hand. Give me the author, bro. Give me the author. There it is. Apologize. Okay, you just spat in my face. <laughs> that was a good line. I want to be near you so you won't be sad. You're a good girl. That's a smooth line, Soup. I was hoping he was going to say, I'm not that person because you're supposed to be that person. You got to make your mind to get up out of here. That's what I, I wanted him to put the power in her hands. That may not have worked, though, because she's always had the power to leave and she still hasn't, so. But what is she doing? What is, what, what is she? Oh! What just happened? But that yin yang is something serious. That's some magic, right? Yang Yang magic? Oh, y'all ain't had to y'all ain't had to bring that back. Y'all ain't had to do that in my ear like that. But how your hand not on fire touching these doorknobs? But the fact that you just made it out of a burning building and went back in the burning building and you haven't succumbed to the fire or smoke yet? Soups! What boost do you have right now? Bro, open the door. Oh man. That's the first time they addressed the doorknob being hot. Bro, he let her in. I mean, she let her, she let him in. I'm sorry, I'm flustered. The library on fire. How y'all gonna get out though? There's no more doors. Off the hands. Bro, that break in the dimension is getting wider, bro. Speak faster. Soup's you on the right track right now, bro. Keep going. Oh my God. Oh, I, oh, that hit. That hit me. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta take a break. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm good. Man, y'all killing me. Y'all killing me with that. Jeez. Mm. I thought you'd be too sad to go on without. Boy, you you laying it on thick, B. Laying it on thick. Why did he take the handkerchief off? Like, that was his promise to Petra. Like, why did he do that? You said that you're not that person because you're supposed to be that person. I didn't reject you. I just wanted you to see the vision of you that I have in my mind. My voice. The... <sighs> Shit is hitting. I can trust you tomorrow and right now. God damn. Woo. With the blistered hand and all, bro. Take his hand, please. He said it, he said it. Choose me, he said it, he said it. Live with me through a guaranteed lifetime of tomorrow's, bruh. Shh, I'm about to put that on a shirt. I'm about to text my ex right now, bruh. I'm about to be toxic with that line. Let's go. But she's definitely walking out this episode, bruh. Take back those lonely 400 years you've had with interest. Oh my God, who wrote this episode, B? Cause you was in it, you was in your feelings right now. I'll engrave it into all of your soul. Oh my God, and in the face. God. Come on. I can't do no more. I can't do no more. Choose me. Please choose that. Oh my God. You want somebody to get you out of here? Isn't that why you always sit in front of this? Okay, okay. 
Bro, the writing in this episode is phenomenal, bro. Now nah, I don't know. I don't. Last week was up there. Last week was top tier. This week, I just, the nigga the villagers. I think last week was top tier. This one, I don't. I don't know anymore, bro. I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Yo, why auto always getting beat up, bro? My man deserves respect. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Bro, look at this. Look at this. Right, then the music coming in. I just realized she finally called this nigga by his name, B. And then the music. And then the music. This shit fire. Oh my god. But she getting frostbite on her clothes, man. Roswell, get your bitch ass out here and help. <laughs> but this song getting hard. That, that's amazing, bruh. That's amazing. I miss so much subtitles, but I'm not going back. I'm in the mode right now. A <laughs> man is right there standing side by side. You can step back and leave the rest of me. <sighs> oh. oh, man. Bro, he holding her hand, bruh. But I knew she was there, but to see it. Oh, man. Oh, choose me. Oh, my God, bruh. My parents are sticky. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I said, that's my reaction to ReZero Season 2, Episode 49, Choose Me. Bro, I, I just, it's impossible. It's impossible to just, to pick a favorite episode, bro. You got the parent, you got Super Rules Parents episode, bro. You got last week's episode. Now you got this. It's like it keeps topping itself. Episode after episode after episode. I can't pick. I can't pick. I honestly can't pick. I don't know which is my favorite. And we still got more episodes. How many episodes are in this season? I don't know. But like, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I'm just like, bro, this is the greatest. This is the greatest anime of the season, bro. This this sweeping. It's just sweeping next year's awards, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Attack on Titans was like the greatest anime, nigga. This right here. This is a classic. Cult classic in it. All right, all right. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out. Um. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Not, I'm not going to have to end the video. Anyway, anyway, we get the beginning of the episode. We get uh, Amelia Bremer with confidence now. The complete 180 of a character. She's directing the villagers. They got faith in her completely. She got faith in them. She's leading them. I love that, bro. This is great practice for when you become the, um, what was it, the queen? The, whatever the royal selection thing, whatever that title is. This is great practice for that. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Keep moving. Keep moving. There's a lot of back and forth in the early half of the episode. Like, if you don't pay attention, you can get lost in the pacing. But, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to follow. I think so. Uh, MVP of this episode, I ain't gonna lie, it might, it might be, um, it might be Puck, because Puck was doing a lot of work, bro, a lot of work at the fighting with uh, Roswell, and then, you know, and helping Ram out and stuff like that, you know, <sighs> he, he was, he was making some impossible moves, come on, B, come on, what you doing, leave, there we go, uh, uh, Ryu Susai, we said, we said goodbye to her, that whole crystal, crystal, uh, the, I guess you would call it the death, that's kind of anticlimactic, they didn't do the three-peat like how they did with Puck when he died, uh, when, I don't want to say died, but, you know, when he passed, supposedly. Uh, but yeah, what's what's going on? How long do the clones uh, stay? Are they like permanently there, or do they slowly but surely fizzle out? What's going on? Um, keep going. Roswell, Roswell's a shell of his former self. My guy, my guy has nothing to live for anymore. He's just done. Maybe, maybe if uh, he heals Ram to the point where she can like smile, open her eyes, and talk to him and stuff like that, and he can hear her words, maybe that'd be enough to wake him up. But uh, I don't know, man. He's still lost without that. He's still lost without that book. He still needs guidance. Um, his whole armor, his whole armor is completely gone, bro. His walls have been broken down. He's, he's just done. He's just done with life. At this point, I don't even know if he's healing her. I feel like he might be just taking his life force and then just put it in her because, I mean, what, what do I have to live for at this point? I lost Akina years ago. The only thing, I, um, the only attachment I had to her was the book. Now that's gone. Uh, Patrice, I never really had an attachment to her because we saw from uh, Patrice's uh, flashback. I don't have an attachment to her. I don't have an attachment to Puck. So like, what what else do I have to live for other than Ram? And I, I don't even feel like I deserve Ram. I, I I tried to kill her. I tried to kill her. Even after she confessed her love to me, I'm a scummy person. So I, I have no, I have nothing to live for. That's, I mean, I'm thinking that's his mindset at this point. I don't know. Um, skimming, skimming, skimming. We get our uh, I mean, not reusers. We get Patrice's backstory again. It's so sad. I'm glad they put this to the end, because I couldn't, I couldn't take this anymore. I couldn't take this anymore. She finally stepped out. This is an amazing episode, B. We got the flashback. Again, I think there's two echidnas, but like not actual sisters. Like, you know, just two different versions being addressed in the show. And uh, yeah, yeah, Suze, my man Suze finally got her out. Finally got her out of the library. Uh, Otto was still everybody's punching bag. The, the neighbors are there. Uh, Garfield, 
Federica, they all made it out. And now, Amelia, Amelia was taking on the bunnies by herself, bro. That's, I'm, I am so proud of her. I am so proud of the character that she's became, man. Like, she's just, just, you just do things to me, girl. You just do things to me, bro. And then Subaru came, his interest, but that interest was so fire, bro. Went from the mansion all the, all the way to Amelia. And then on the way, Patrice kept saying Subaru's name, bro. That was the first time she said his name. She finally acknowledging this nigga. I'm not, I don't think it's on like a, um, on like a whole, like she loves him or anything like that. I don't think she's added to the harem. I just think that's like a brother, sister type of relationship. I thought I'd just throw that in there, but you know, uh, I don't really care either way. Um, um, yeah, and I was, that, yeah, that interest was fire. That interest was fire, bro. And so now you got the three of them, three of them going up against the bunnies. I don't know how, I don't know how you're going to do that. Because don't the bunnies just like endlessly replicate? Like you got to do one, one big ass giant spell to take them all out in one go, right? That's how you defeat them. So like, is there going to be an ice? Oh, Patrice does ice too. Because I remember that from the fight with Elsa. So this going to be like one big ass, just like giant ice thing. And then Subaru's going to use his unforeseen hands to like pick it up and then just like slam it down. It's got to be, ah, oh, man. Next week, next week's gonna be fire. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it right there. With all that being said, make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Check out the channel for more reviews, reactions, speed drops. I got all that stuff on there. Ain't you no know, fucking with the kid like my thought process, my predictions, my vibe, whatever the case may be. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Then you hit that uh, bell icon. You hit it twice, you know, twice, twice, twice. Make sure you hit all notifications to be notified I drop something new. My name is Anansi. Thank you for coming to the kickback. I'll see you when I see you.